So I want to do a little experiment with my new AccuQuilt die cutter today. And that has to do with whether or not hand cutting my pieces for a block and sewing them together makes a more accurate block. Or if uh, AccuQuilt itself, using it as my cutter, is going to make my uh, patches or my pieces a little more accurate. So I have picked a very simple design, which I will show you in a minute, and I've picked out some fabrics. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two blocks. Both will have the same dimensions, will be made up of the same pieces, but I want to see how they measure once they're all finished and see if there's any difference at all. I also want to check it for the speed of cutting as well. So I'm going to show you my diagram for this very simple block here, and then we'll get on with it. So this is my diagram of my basic block. There are 16 two and a half inch squares, but some of those two and a half inch squares are half square triangles as well. So I've worked out how many two and a half inch squares I need to make this configuration. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut these uh, as I normally would using just my rotary blade and, uh, and a ruler uh, measuring these out. Now I am using charm squares so they're five inches a piece and I'll use charm squares for both of these they'll be slightly different colors uh, the B color will stay the same in both but these two colors will be different because as you can see here there's my A and my B's and my C's they're pretty close in color but uh, not exactly uh, the same and uh, I've marked these with the letter of the fabric and I've indicated whether I'm going to hand cut or accu cut. And so as I said before, my whole plan here is to see just how accurate the accu quilt is in comparison to hand cutting. And when I get them all sewn together, I will measure each finished block and see how they measure up. But first of all, I need to do the hand cutting. So I'm going to take my pile of these. These are the A and I have one, two, three, three layers of fabric here. Now the AccuQuilt can cut up to six layers and uh, most people are comfortable with cutting two to four layers at a time hand quilting. So I'm just lining these up. Actually I'm going to use a rotating mat for this because I think it'll make my life easier. And I'm making sure I have everything lined up perfectly, each of my layers. And the reason I am cutting these in layers is one for the speed of cutting, but also because I, I am going to take advantage of the fact that the Accu quilt can cut six layers of fabric at a time, which is a real time saver. So I'm trying to get these evened up as accurately as I possibly can. Now you know that when it comes to pre-cuts, there is always a, li a bit, a little bit of um, inaccuracy in the cutting, just a hair. So I think I've got them up as lined up as well as I can. And I'm gonna take a two and a half inch ruler and I'm going to put this over to the side. Now, something I should measure is because these ones were pinked, I should see where exactly, if they're supposed to be five inches, where the five inches is being measured from. So I'll go to the top of the peak to top of the peak, and that's exactly how they're being cut. So top of the peak, my ruler down here, make sure I keep it straight. This is a two and a half inch ruler. And cut it once this way. Don't move my pile, Just this is why I'm using the rotary mat. And along the top of the pinked edge the other way. Make sure I've got my line down here so I'm cutting straight. I am purposely trying to be very, very accurate in my cutting here to make this a fair comparison. And I didn't cut all the way through this. My rotary blade is probably a little dull. And it is. 
Okay, so there are my hand cut two and a half inch squares. I'm just going to put my label on this. The B squares. Now, with the B squares and the C squares, I need to make them into half square triangles because I do not in this diagram that I showed you do I have just strictly a two and a half inch square. Okay, so to make my two and a half inch half square triangles, that's the unfinished measurement, I'm just going to take, I'm going to use the charms because it's easier to handle the fabric for this demo in this size, and I've got two squares here. I am going to be making four of the A B combination and four of the C B combination. So I need um, for B's, I will need uh, four of those. So I'm just going to place this here. I've got two layers of fabric, and this is a three and a half inch square, and I'm just going to go around my square. I find this the easiest way for me to cut something down into a square. Just use a square ruler. And it'd help if I cut it all the way through. Okay, so this is what I designated as my fabric C for this. So there's two three and a half inch squares, and then I need two more cut from the B, which is white. Line it up, put down my square, cut. If you don't have one of these little rotary cutters, I have a large one too, but they're really a godsend. They are, as far as I'm concerned, they're a must for investing in in your arsenal of supplies. Okay. Yes, I know, there's waste. I've been saying that. Okay, so I'm going to take these two squares, lay them down. I'm going to take my white squares, put them right sides together. This fabric's a little difficult to determine a right side, but there is a right side. Line those up, take my ruler, take my pencil. I'm going to draw a line on both of these squares, a diagonal line, corner to corner. And to keep them sliding around, I'm just going to pin them with magic pins, as they call them. I love these magic pins. I use them all the time. Pins. I have a tendency to say pens. When I'm saying pins, I mean pins. Now, I'm sure this isn't a new method to anybody out there who's made any kind of half-square triangles. There are many ways to make half-square triangles. This is one method I use quite a bit. And I do make them oversized, so when I trim them down, I've got some room to spare. Okay, I'm going to take these to the sewing machine. I'm going to sew a quarter-inch sew line on either side of these two diagonal lines, and I'll be back. Okay. I've come away from my sewing machine. I'm just going to take the pins out of these. I have got a quarter inch stitch line on either side of these penciled in lines. And now I'm just going to take these and cut right along that line that I draw, drew. Okay, now I'm going to trim these down to two and a half inches using my handy dandy clearly perfect slotted ruler. I love this ruler. And you can see I have considerable width, uh, waist. If I'd cut these squares to three inches instead of three and a half, I would have had left less waist. But as I said before, waist doesn't really bother me. It's just fabric. And I'll put the next one on and do the same. I'm just lining up that two and a half inch line, dotted line on the ruler with the seam line on the triangle. I really need to replace, I think, my rotary blade. 
And we'll do this on the next one. And this will give me four two and a half inch half square triangles. Now that's the unfinished measurements because, oops, slid off the line. Because once they get sewn into the block, we'll lose a quarter of an inch on either side. So that'll take them down to two inches. Okay, so these are my half square triangles. And just let me double check that these measure two and a half inches and they do okay so what I need to do next is press these open trim off my dog tails and then I need to make another set of half square triangles using color uh, B with color A so I'll come back when I have that done so here's my block all laid out ready for sewing and uh, this has all been hand cut squares. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to sew each row together then those rows to each other to make my block, press it and then we'll move on to the Accu quilt. Okay I've got this block done and this block everything as you know was hand cut. Um, and I didn't do anything different than I would normally do if I was hand cutting it. Um, I have now sewn the pieces together. I have pressed it, but I have not done any trimming around this. So if you notice closely up here, there's a little bit of irregularity there. That's about the only spot though. Um, but I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to trim it down yet because now I'm going to make the exact same block, but I'm going to use the Accu quilt. So I'm going to set that up and I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm going to cut out my fabric that I need for the other block. Now, I just discovered something. I was going to cut out the two and a half inch squares that I need. And this, although you can't see it, there are grooves. This makes four two and a half inch unfinished squares. I believe it tells you that on the side right here. Yep. But a five inch charm does not, well, it just fits. And I think if it shifts, I'm going to have a problem. Plus the edges may not be straight because this is a pre-cut. So what I'm going to do is, or sorry, that wasn't the pre-cut. This is the pre-cut. That was a piece that I had cut from my scraps. So you see the pre-cut right here? You can see the dark. It's just about an eighth of an inch so it's not going to cut it exactly accurately so I can't use pre-cut charm pack for this which is a shame however the one thing you can do is you can go to your scrap pile and find big enough pieces and you don't have to worry about them being straight or anything all I did was I pulled this out of my scrap drawer I pulled out two pieces well it was one piece I cut it in half it's big enough in fact it's bigger than the Accu uh, quilt die and that's okay. I'm just going to set that here so I don't have to worry about squaring that piece of fabric up beforehand. Now I do need my half square triangle die and this will make four triangles or two half square triangles. So I know how many pieces of fabric I need for this so I'm just going to cut some of them out. I'm using first of all the white and I'm just laying it here so that with the right sides up so it covers now probably I should use one continuous piece in this because if these shift they're right on I think I will so let me find a piece of fabric for this that's long enough to cover both of them okay so I found myself a piece of fabric that's long enough actually it's a little bigger than what I need for this die and it's two layers and Remember, I said you can cut up to six layers of fabric using the AccuCut. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to make sure my fabric pieces are covering that block. And this is the AccuCut Go Big. So I can put these two dies 
side by side and run them both through at the same time. So I'm going to put my white fabric, this is my half square triangles, onto this. Then you've got to put your cutting mats down on both. And then we can push both of them to get through at the same time. So, Eleanor Burns says you just give it a little squish this way with your hand, and here we go. I need it two and a half inch squares, and I need eight of them. There's my waist, so I should have eight two and a half inch squares. One, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight. Just that fast. On this one, I should have enough pieces to make four half square triangles. So there's two there, two more there, two more there, and two more there. So that will make four for the part of that. Get rid of the waste. And now I want to cut my two other colors of fabrics and since I cannot use my charms, or can I? Well, I could. Just for the sake of not bothering to take up the time to find other pieces of fabric, let's use what we've got here. So you know, I think I can just sort of overlap on that little gap on here because it's going to cut it off. And I still have lots of excess on the other side. So that's what I'm going to do. I've not done this before. So I've got two layers of fabric and I've overlapped them slightly for that join. Feed it through. Now, did that work? Did they come out the same size? Did I do that overlap? I think they did. And they should. Let's get rid of the... That. So there's... Two more. And two more. So you can see, you can really... It does save on fabric. Um, you know... You have very little waste. So I've got those, and I'm going to do it one more time with my fourth color. So one. Well, there's two already in here, so let's just go two there. These two right here, and let's put it through. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so now I think I have plenty. I think I didn't need to double up on that last one, but I did. So I have extras, but that's okay. And it was that fast to cut. Now I have all my pieces cut. So let's just close this up for a second and show you how we make the half square triangles. Now the last time we did it where we drew a diagonal line and we took the two pieces and let me see if I can put this up here where you can see a little better. Move the AccuCute quilt out of the way. Here we go. So all I have to do is put right sides together 
and there will be no dog ears on this because what you're doing is you line them up just like this so my quarter inch seam allowance down that press them open and I should have two and a half inch half square triangles so I've cut out a lot of steps in the tr more traditional way of making them and I'm hoping these are going to be a little bit more accurate than hand uh, cutting so I'm going to sew these pieces together and show you what they look like so I'll be back in a minute so here are my two finished blocks this one is the one that I hand cut the pieces this is the one that I use the Accu quilt uh, dies to cut the pieces so let's measure them and see if there's any difference in their size now one thing I'm going to say right here on the edge of this one you can see it's a little bit uneven this one is pretty good that's probably my sewing and my pressing not the difference because of the cutting so this block measures eight and an eighth this block measures eight and an eighth actually it's a little closer to eight than eighth than, than an eighth but about a sixteenth so eight and a sixteenth eight and an eighth let's just turn them 90 degrees and measure them the other way they are squares or it should be eight and an eighth which is what we had before and this one well this edge is a little bit jagged over here so it's measuring about eighth of an eighth there too but it depends if you go up to the next piece it'd be eight and a sixteenth or eighth and an eighth yeah eight and a sixteenth so basically from that this is not what I expected I expected that the Accu quilt uh, die cut block would be a little more accurate in measurement than the hand cut one but there's really very little difference and both of these I would trim down to eight inches square so they'd both be identical so I guess that tells me one thing about my cutting technique I am a fairly accurate cutter using a ruler and a rotary cutter. However, this took a lot longer to cut all the pieces for than the Accu quilt did. So I think from here on in, I will be using my Accu quilt when I can. It's going to save some time. Also, the advantage here too is that I don't really need a piece of fabric that is absolutely straight, at least on one side, as I do when I go to cut something like that. I can take a scrap piece of fabric or a smaller piece of fabric that may be jagged on the edges but as long as it covers the whole die it's going to cut fine without any problem so that was my little experiment today not the result I thought I was going to find I really felt that the one that was cut with the Accu quilt die was going to be more accurate than the one that I cut by hand but it looks like that isn't the case at all however Having said that, if you are someone who has a great deal of trouble cutting things accurately, the AccuQuilt is for you. Also, the speed, the AccuQuilt is for those who are in the fast lane. So that's the end of my little experiment today. I hope you gathered something from that and stay tuned for future videos.